no festival in Ladakh is complete without the musical accompaniments of Daman and Surna. On many occasions, Daman is accompanied by a large drum called Denjang, which is still popular in Da and Bema in Lower Indus Valley and Turtuk in Nubra Valley. Dab is said to be one of the oldest drums in Ladakh and is listed as an endangered musical drum. Rigzin Lado is worried about the dying art of playing Dab. Archery is deeply rooted in Ladakhi culture and has become an essential part of the performance of cultural, social, and traditional activities. Darpon Chenmo, the great archer in the Gesar saga, remains a legendary hero for people across the Himalayas. Local archery festivals are amongst the most colorful and interesting events that are held in villages across Ladakh. These festivals are usually held in the spring, around the time when farmers start sowing their fields 
and villagers are in a festive mood. The spirit of archery competitions are enhanced by the sound of different drums. The rhythm of the drums changes when one shoots at the tsake, or the bullseye. When one hits the bullseye, he gets a katak, or white scarf, and has to drink chang, that is known as chak chang. He then has to lead a dance once the round of shooting ends. Baltistan is one of Ladakh's closest neighbors, and the two share a common heritage, including language, lifestyle, and cuisine. The drums have also been used as a means of communication. In the past, drums were used to inform people about royal orders and decrees. While there is a lot of cultural and linguistic diversity across the Himalayas, music provides a common thread that binds different mountain communities together. Historians date the introduction of polo in Ladakh to King Jamyang Namgyal's reign, when he married Gyal Khatun, a princess from Baltistan. In fact, all the major villages of Ladakh used to have their own polo ground called Shagaran. This tradition is still preserved in Turtuk in Nubra Valley. In this village, polo is more than just a game. It is an integral part of cultural heritage of Ladakh. Folk music has deeper meaning for society and is not simply music that our grandparents enjoyed. It is an integral part of our history and our musical heritage that deserves to be preserved for generations and generations to come. Unlike language, music does not require understanding. People may be moved by music, played by people who speak a language completely different from their own. Additionally, the same musical performance may mean different things to different people. Music moves people emotionally and spiritually. Because music can move them deeply, members of mountain communities use music to create and preserve their cultural identity and unity.